In this lesson I will show you how to change thread colors. In Stitch Buddy you can change single colors, but also the complete color palette to match the threads you are using. One comment first. A color shown on a computer display may vary to the corresponding color in nature. Picking new colors in Stitch Buddy is sufficient to get a first impression how a design might look like, but please check against your thread box before embroider on your machine. In this lesson I will use Poly X40 threads, so first change the color palette of the complete design. Stitch Buddy will replace every color with the most similar one of the new palette, but you might want to optimize this selection. So I click on the first color and a new dialog box, the color picker is shown. Every time a color is selected, Stitch Buddy will choose the most similar one of the chosen palette. There are several ways to select a new color, a color wheel, sliders for all color components, or you can select a color from one of the different lists Stitch Buddy provides. In my opinion the easiest way to select appropriate colors is just to use the color list corresponding to the current palette. Sometimes it is not easy to identify which part of an embroidery is stitched with which thread. Therefore Stitch Buddy provides the Enhanced Color Selection which is activated by default, but can be deactivated in the preferences. With this feature I can just click on a part of the design to identify the used color, or I can click on a color in the list for the same effect. The Color Picker dialog is shown, all other parts are grayscale and I can change this color. I can easily select the next color to change and everything is updated accordingly. Now I change this color as well. Of course color and palette changes can be undone. If the enhanced color selection irritates you with its windows and grayscaling, you can easily disable this feature in the preferences. This way you can still change thread colors, but it is much more difficult to select the right thread. Now this course is finished. I just save my new design and close the application. Take care and have fun with Stitch Body, Embroidery on Mac.